So the club started in 1969. The 50th anniversary will be coming up in two years. It was originally two clubs, uh, a North Van and a West Van club, combining to create the Capilanos. Kind of like the Field of Dream stuff, you know, if you build it, they will come. Well, uh, they did come. and. You know, we attracted people like Jamie Cudmore, who uh, played for, for Squamish Axemen, and then came here before he went over to a very successful uh, career over, overseas. And there's been many more. Uh, before that, Tony Scott was a Canada player. There's been uh, many, many more since. Currently, we have uh, two on the, uh, on the Canada Sevens teams, and uh, we have women players on, their, on, the, on the women's team. Jones is top-notch captain of Canada right now. Jones is away, and the boy from Capilano Rugby Club will score Canada's seconds. And Adam Zaruba, who's still one of the top notch players in the world at this point. Oh, brilliant. Zaruba, he's just been talking about it, and he plucks it out of the air quite brilliantly. BC's always been traditionally strong, but the benefits and certainly in, in BC is that uh, you can play if you want 12 months a year here. I mean, granted, the, sometimes it might rain a little bit too much, but in the other provinces across the country, you know, they're dealing with snow, frozen ground. You know, that allows some of the Canadian players from other, other provinces to come play here gives them more rugby time. I think it, it's just the clubs here are so strong and a lot of them are, have such great traditions and that just builds up strong clubs. It's been obviously very successful and it's been great. The rugby community obviously knows well about sevens, but what I've seen is the non-rugby people have really taken to it. It's a fun event, and I think the Olympics was a big help as well. It gave far more exposure than they're used to having for their sevens. And uh, yeah, the Vancouver event, I hope, just keeps growing and gets getting more kids interested and more people interested in rugby in general. I would say there's around 150 senior players, there's probably close to 300 junior youth players, and associate members would be a bit tougher to guess, but I'd say another couple hundred. So I mean, you could say anywhere from 500 to 1,000 close-knit members of this club. Part of it's, I would say, the culture of the club, um, strive for excellence, but I also say, you know, the coaching's been great. The high school and youth programs on the North Shore are, are excellent. And I think also having other Canadian players to look up to around the club helps guys. Uh, it's easier for them to strive towards something to be in that place one day.